Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, place of Finding Mice Gatrith Plus. Kind of a <laughs> bit of a touchy run to get to win 14, but we, we navigated it with, uh, I don't know, the attention it warranted. 1.04 speed. I never know how to interpret uh, rate of fire and damage. All I know is Monstro's Lung. That's good stuff. WDNXJS6E. We also have Child's Leash. Uh, really, the way I evaluate Monstro's Lung is I take a look and I say, okay, are we killing enemies in a reasonable number of hits? If so, I'm not going to complain. And that's kind of the way I feel about this. I mean, champion enemies taking a couple extra hits to go down, basic enemies taking one, maybe two, depending on how much of the fire hose they get hit with. Doesn't bother me. What is this floor? Oh, it's Curse of the Labyrinth. Okay. So thank God we didn't get hit. Now, I'm not saying we're owed anything, but all I'm going to say, it would be very nice to have an easy run. Or even if not an easy run, dare I suggest a conventional run? Deal with the devil on this floor, you know, white picket fence, house, two kids, you get the idea. I just want to not, like we were under a vice grip the entire final run. Or the entire last run, sorry, that's one of the times those words don't really make sense as synonyms. Um, now, you can see I've inherited a newfound confidence and, and seeming ability to dodge, but simultaneously, I, I don't need a run where we just get Mom's knife. You know, that always interests me, but I'm never going to say that we have to do it, um, or we have to get that to be happy. Um, but what I will say, Spirit Heart, that's a great start. See? You get a Spirit Heart to protect your HP, you get to a deal with the devil, the deal with the devil gives you something reasonable, your item rooms give you opportunities, but not necessarily guaranteed wins, and, you know, you're you're liking the run a lot as a, re as a response to that. So I'm feeling, I mean, I'm feeling dialed, for one, a lot of stress, uh, I mean, in the end, it's not as stressful because it's just it's a relatively small streak in a video game. But, you know, once you're in, it, it feels real. Well, I hate this, but let's do it. You know, you, I'm not saying I had fight or flight activated necessarily. Oh, my God. Uh, more just suggesting, you know, it feels like it's a not a life or death, but a nice or evil situation. And we, we luckily ended up getting the nice outcome and do if it has a long lasting impact on my uh, ability to dodge then i am over the moon <laughs> there's a lot of situations so far in this run at least a couple where uh i would under normal circumstances expect to take damage but my brain is going nope no need to take damage there i know it looks close but don't worry about it uh, yeah don't even sweat it you don't need to worry okay that time definitely should have thought a little further ahead Pretty nice tears upgrade. Sad onion. Uh, the only... I'm not going to say it's a negative, but the only thing that's kind of weird about it is... Uh, I don't know where the tear cap is or how it's affected by the existence... Yo! Of Monstro's Lung. So I am kind of like... Oh, we got to go to the shop. I am kind of like I have no idea where we're at. Like, do I choose to take a tears upgrade if we get one on the deal with the devil? Well, what tears upgrades do you get on the deal with the devil? Look, why are you being so, why are you being so smarmy about it? Okay, I'm just, I'm spitballing. I'm, I'm asking questions. All of a sudden, I apparently I'm the one on trial for having an opinion on. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, what I do want as well is something to replace this awful haircut. I have to think. I, right now, I don't want HP, but I don't really want to use uh, Black Rune when I could use it there instead. And then as, oh, I mean, I really like it. It's just a touch touchy. Either way, though, I think we're leaving this floor being pretty happy. Now, I'll fully admit to you, as I have on many occasions in the past, I don't really know what to do with D7. I understand it in principle. You know, if you lose your deal with the devil chance because of the fact that you got hit, can't you use the D7 to go back in time? 
if you fight uh, Super Envy and you don't get Shoop to Whoop, can't you be a masochist and be like, yeah, I'd like to do that fight one more time? And maybe have a chance to get it? Or am I getting this confused with a different item? I don't recall. As of right now, we haven't had much cause to reroll. Like, what I was thinking is, I think we could have used it after fighting the boss, the second boss on the last floor, and then we could have uh, gotten something that wasn't a range upgrade, and that might be the most applicable use for that on the previous floor. But again, I'm kind of just spitballing, you know? I I don't actually know if that's the if that's the use case, but we should try to use it at some point. I don't like Child's Leash or Stinky Diaper. No, thank you. What I do like is like, oh my god. Enemies are dying so fast. <laughs> I don't want to be again. Because like in the end, we won the last run. And it, it gave us enough to get the win. So I'm not going to complain too much. Plus, I said it in the moment. You might not have believed me, but it's true. I was having a really fun time on the last run. We have to take this just because it gives us HP if we get hit. Where's our other red heart coming from then? I don't know. I, I think I'm very low on HP, so this is an extremely dangerous path to take. Well, no, that it sh we shouldn't be too bad then, because Sin Robes should have given us uh, some Demon Hearts. Either way, though, uh, I think we might have more DPS now than we than we did at the end of the last run. That's emblematic of two differing things right now, one of which is that uh, our last run, you know, damage was not really a strong suit, and another one is that on this run, we've gotten very strong very quickly. Two bombs for the chance to get an HP upgrade, especially after spending a bunch of HP. Fine by me. You son of a gun. I'm not using a bomb to get a single penny. That's a that's a northern lion at the end of day move. That's not what I'm doing right now. Hopefully not at the end of days. You know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Or also, alternatively, the concept of rapture. Or Judgment Day? I don't know. I always get Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's been in so many movies that deal with uh, apocalypses. Techno-apocalypses in the Terminator films, and of course, uh, then you got the End of Days, and... Um, what's that movie? Eraser, you know, he's, he's been in a lot of these movies. I never remember if it's a Terminator movie, or a, if it's a Bible book. Terminator Genesis. Genesis, is that a... Salvation, is that a Bible book or is that a Terminator movie? Judgment Day. Bible passage or Terminator movie? I'll be back. <laughs> Terminator movie or... Or, uh... Biblical concept. Or both. Hey. Hey. Please? Second secret room? Oh, baby. That's fine. All right, I mean, this run is unbelievably strong from the perspective of uh, DPS. A little concerned about HP. I think we have one... No, I think we have... I think we have four HP and it's all blue or black hearts. Well, uh, we got Curse of the Unknown again. So, this run is strong, but it's anything but conventional, which is what I asked for. All we have to do is survive this floor. And there's a, you know, there's some tricks you can use. Like, for example, if we can get into this boss room, we know we got one red HP or less. That's not really a cause for concern when you're doing this much damage. Um, probably not going to take that. If we get a deal with the devil now, and one of the deals with the devil is... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> is a single red heart? Or a double red heart, for that matter. Then we also know that we have exactly one red heart, and everything over top of that is uh, demon hearts, or spirit hearts for that matter. Uh, I definitely think we do not have any red hearts, but I could have miscalculated. That might... No, it's not quite Beelzebub, or, or rather Lord of the Flies, um, because Pretty Fly is not Halo of Flies, but if it were, we would have the ability to fly now, so it's nice to just keep in mind that that's on the, uh, it's on the agenda. We've also donated as much as we could on this run, 
You know what? We're not gonna pop Joker. Unless we get HP from the boss, but no deal with the devil. I'm actually like really impressed with my brain. And I don't say that too often. Except when it bails me out of bad situations, like for example, uh, you know, overperforming probably on that Java exam. Uh, I told you the arc's over, but the echoes still remain. We're in the end game now. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, normally I don't toot my own, uh, you know, cognitive horn in Isaac. However, in this case, it's coming up with things that most of the time are beyond it. Like when I was like, well, we're not gonna use that Joker card. My brain was like, uh, actually, you might use it if you get HP, so you know you have HP, and then you don't get a deal with the devil, which you probably won't anyway, because you're in the low double digit percentages. I was like, thank you, brain. Also, mind your own business. I'm in control right now. Oh my god. You know what? Uh, game, apology accepted. You hit me with that do do do, and now we're, uh,. Now we're making amends. We're friendly again. I appreciate that. We're not gonna use it. Um, now we should know how much HP we have. Okay, we have enough to justify going to the deal with the devil, but I'm not gonna do it early. Much more advantageous for us to uh, wait and see if we get HP. Plus, if we get to deal with the devil normally, we can use this Joker card on the floor after this. Is this? It's Depths 1. I actually thought it was Depths 2. We're kind of cruising here. All right. Dude, I'm stoked. It's the weekend. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. We have not... Um, Kate and I haven't had a real day off since... It's a damage upgrade. Since Iceland. Uh, which is... Again, don't take it as complaining. I've always been to this opinion. Uh... Like, this is basically the way that we've structured our, our work-life balance, is that when we're at home, we're usually working pretty hard. We're fortunate enough to be able to travel fairly frequently, either for work or for pleasure. And then, you know, sure, maybe there will be stretches where we work six or seven day weeks for like three months. And then we might take like ten days fully off. And we're not recouping, you know, one-to-one, -one, but the days are hopefully like richer as a result, is the idea at least. So I'm not complaining. I, I like... I like my lot in life, to be honest. But uh, I'm, I'm itching for that day off tomorrow, even though I am going to be streaming for a couple of hours for a sponsored obligation. Apart from that, do a little Christmas shopping because it's the quote-unquote most wonderful time of the year. And uh, there's like a Christmas market thing that has, uh, you know, some carnival games and rides. It looks cool. We're going to go visit that. And I don't know what else, you know? Kate's playing in the Vancouver Grand Prix. The Magic the Gathering event, so uh, maybe we'll do some homebrewed Ultimate Masters and take out a second mortgage to pay for it, and it'll be fun playing with all these cards that are too powerful to be in the game any longer. So we definitely do want Incubus. I was kind of hoping to just stand at the entrance, or rather the exit there for a while, but uh, I think... We didn't want to take uh, the other option anyway. This is hard for me. You know what it's not? Because the Joker card still allows us to get out of boss rush. So we're like, we're going to win. Unless the absolutely unthinkable happens, we're going to win. Do we deserve to? Yes. Are you, have you, did you watch the last run? I, I'll level with you. It doesn't have to be like that. But I really feel like when you win a run like... The Isaac run that we had was like a 1 in 20 difficult run. I'm not saying that gives us 20 free wins, but at least one. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's like eating a, a four pound steak, you know? You get the steak for free, but they should also throw in like a shirt. It's one of my favorite, uh, well not one, you know, that's just a way to start a conversation. But I love it when people are like... And sometimes it comes up on stream, we'll talk about like eating challenges and you know, like there's this place in Waterloo. If you eat like four kilograms of ramen, you get the ramen for free and they put your picture on the wall. And you're like, dude, I would never do that. Oh, it's uh, Lord of the Flies, let's go, or Beelzebub. Um, 
First off, I'm not a good eater. I can eat endlessly, as proven my, by my physique, uh, but I cannot eat fast, or too fast at least. So basically, if you're like, hey, eat this two kilogram bowl of ramen, I'd be like, okay. Maybe like within an hour, I'd be like, are you crazy? If they're like, do it once every six hours for the rest of your life, I'd be like, sorry, are you saying something? <laughs> It's like, I can eat a big meal at like 6 p.m. And then at like 7.30, my brain's like, well, what about a snack? And I gotta be like, no brain, not yet. Yeah, okay, 7.45 then. But I'm not much of like a, I tend not to eat huge portions. I just eat very, very, very often. I'm not an eating challenge kind of guy. I'm not a Joey Chestnut, a Matt Stoney. Etc. Etc. Uh, so I, I would never do that challenge just for the bragging rights. But sometimes people, will, at least in Twitch chat, they'll act like the restaurant's doing you like a favor. They'll be like, "Well, if you eat the incredibly large meal, you know they pay for your incredibly large meal." I'm like, "Do after you eat this, Joey Chestnuts in the bathroom going for like, you know, a day afterwards." Isn't that, wouldn't you rather just pay, like, you know, a couple of bucks and get a meal that's a normal size? If you're doing it for bragging rights, it's a different story. I'm just saying the restaurant giving you uh, the meal for free is literally, like, the least they could do and is worth nothing. It's like being sent to prison across the country. And then someone has the nerve to be like, well, are they going to pay for your flight? <laughs> At least you get to go on a big old airplane to a maximum security prison in Colorado where they're also holding Ted Kaczynski. Oops. Well, here's the thing. Maybe we missed our item room on this floor. Who cares? Are you seeing this run? Dude, okay, we gotta take Sprinkler. It's the most fun. Plus, our damage is so good that Sprinkler is gonna be great uh, as a, an item in and of itself. People do that for video game critics sometimes as well. They'll always be like, you can't trust these video game critics, man. Well, first off, video game critics worth their salt should disclose of this stuff at the very least. And a lot of them, you know, like I know websites like Polygon catch uh, flack, but at least, um, I don't know, the last time I paid attention, they were in the habit of just like, they declined all travel and accommodations to events. So if events were local to some of their writers, they might go and pay their own way. Um, but other than that, they didn't accept any travel. So I know, you know Polygon catches some heat. Sometimes, it, you know, I disagree with the approach that they take to journalism as well, even though they, I think they have a voice that is cool to be represented in the space. Most of the time, well, much of the time at least, I look at that review and I go, thanks for the review. It talks about a lot of things that aren't really concerning to me. But I understand that that's not the same for everybody, of course. Either way, um, even if you hate them, you got to give them credit for that. A lot of the sites and, and YouTubers that are like, we're here for the gamers are like, mm, can I... If you're going to send me on this event, you should really send me on first class. <laughs> After all, I do play a lot of Isaac. Oh wait, did I? I outed myself, okay. And deflected criticism, and here we go. Um, but you gotta give them credit for that at the very least. But sometimes people will have like conspiracy theories. They'll be like, these publishers fly out game critics to these events. They put them up in the hotel room and everything. And you're like, dude, you gotta cut them some slack, okay? I'm with you, by the way, to some extent. Stop doing these media events. Start just sending me a preview code that expires. Is there an enemy alive? There he is. Like, here's the... I know, I understand you want it to be controlled. It's a walled garden of exposure. Like, if you just send me a preview code for, like, you know, that let me play the game for an hour and then do a video on it, that's a lot better than me flying out to San Francisco, okay? For both of us, and fiscally speaking especially, but also temporally, you know, I feel like we're kind of doing things inefficiently. Secondarily, however, you got to give these critics some credit, okay? They're not nine years old. They're not like, oh boy, an airplane. They're probably like, uh, my editor assigned me to, you know, fly to X city to preview Mafia 3 or something. 
then when they write the review, they're like, oh, the mini bar was really nice at that hotel. I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. Yo. Um, it really is a question at this point of how zany we want to go. I definitely do not want to spend six hearts. So I think I'm going to spend none. And you might be mad about that, but... I really, at this point... If we... Well, I have a very good reason, actually. Void uh, is worth uh, something once every six rooms, and Sprinkler is worth something once every four rooms, although we haven't really used it much so far. Um, we're paying three spirit hearts for the privilege of making Sprinkler worse, is what happens on that deal with the devil, if we take Void. We use Void to suck up Sprinkler, now we have a strictly worse Sprinkler until we get another opportunity to use Void. Now, the limiting factor is the number of opportunities remaining, which is why I said no. The other limiting factor is our HP. So I stand by my decision. We've been a little reckless on this run to begin with, so I think the time is right to sort of get it set and get it steady. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, of course we're going to take this. I thought I, there was like an overarching point involved somewhere. I mean, oh, it was about eating challenges. That's right. <laughs> I've never done one. If there is a challenge I could do, it would, and I'm not saying there is. It would probably be spice related. See, I would rather eat one thing that's like incredibly unpleasant for like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. I think that's realistic, right? Like, if you ate, like, a... Well, I guess it would be really unpleasant on the way out as well. But still, I think I would rather deal with gastrointestinal heat than gastrointestinal pressure, I guess is what it comes down to. I would rather just be like, uh, my b-hole hurts, than be like, ah, I ate a kilogram worth of food and I'm holding it in. Hmm. I was pushed... I, in the Dark Prince's crown. Thanks a lot, Frank Underwood. Well, we're heading up to the next floor. Uh, it's still fine. It's just a does take three HP away that I, I was hoping not to lose. It would be hilarious to lose this run. I am going to endeavor to make sure that you laugh as little as possible over the, over the remainder of the video. And you're like, oh, what else is new? <laughs> hey, that's rude. I can say it, okay? Now, I've never really done a spicy challenge. I do enjoy spicy food. I'm trying to get more keys, which is very risky, admittedly. And when, you know, sometimes, there's no shame in this, by the way. I'll, as someone who likes spicy food, I think the behavior of some of my cohorts is shameful. You know, they think they're somehow like, better eaters because of the fact that they can handle spicy food. You know, it is a preference. And beyond being a preference, there is probably a certain level of exposure as well. When I was a kid, I didn't like spicy food at all. Why didn't I like spicy food at all? Well, I had like basically not consumed any. And I, I had grown to fear it by the time I was like nine. Whenever people talked about spicy food, I was like, oh my god, spicy food. Living on the edge. <laughs> Ordering your, your chicken wings as uh, medium instead of mild. Then as I, you know, had more and more of it, I, I got into spicier and spicier stuff, but I'm definitely not like a chili head. You know who is? Is Justin. He's got a variety of hot sauces. I respect that. It's beyond me. I will occasionally... I'll order some stuff that I'll have Kate shake in her head, but never some stuff that... Like, the next day, I'm like, well, it's happened, but not commonly. Or the next day, I'm like, man, that was a terrible decision. It's a bone hard. Thank you. That's very generous of you. Uh, and we're just going to destroy that. Or, well, re-roll it if we can. Fruitcake, no thank you. Kind of interesting, but not interesting enough. Oh, I wanted Little Brim, but actually, Parasite is way better, so lucky me. Maybe not way better, but it's better. And I actually, I or did we already get the tears up bonus from uh, Boneheart? 
This is what I was talking about. Maybe not last episode, but a couple of episodes ago. Like, Dark Prince's crown plus Boneheart is awesome. And I'm happy to see that there's been a little bit of a redemption arc for Dark Prince's crown. An item that largely was like, you pay three, eight, or you pay two HP for a little tears upgrade that's conditional. There's only, it's not great, but there's a couple of reasons why it works. One of them is that oftentimes tears upgrades are scarce enough and valuable enough that you would like do anything to have another one. And if you can manage to make the condition work, why not? The other one is a lot of the time you get to the end of the game or close to it and you're like, well, I'm already strong. And then the game is like, do you want to get stronger? And you're like, yeah, okay. That sounds good. So a little bit touch and go here, HP wise, but otherwise, like we were pretty much set from the first floor onwards on today's run. And I'm very happy to have Rotten Baby. We'll pick up all these items just in case we haven't seen them. Like we gotta keep in mind, you know, donations are still important. Picking up items still important. Taking uh, cubes of meat, still really important on runs where it's not about survival. So check this out. I don't know if we've had Isaac's heart. So I'm going to do a very smart, mature decision. And I'm going to take it. But I'm only going to take it once we've beaten the boss. That's the adult way to deal with this item. You might be out there saying, when is NL going to appreciate Isaac's heart? That's one. I don't know if there will ever be a video titled A Newfound Appreciation for Isaac's Heart. If anything, I don't know. I think I've reached a point where I'm, I'm starting to cut down the number of items I respect. Occasionally, something like Dark Prince's Crown will redeem itself. I believe we've taken all these. I'll tell you what, though. I will take an Eve's Mascara. It does, it, all other things being equal, it at least makes our flies better. Um, I think we've taken it before, but I think it, it, it's, it should technically be a net positive. And I understand the, the situational uses, by the way, of uh, Isaac's heart. I don't always use them. Sometimes I forget. Got the old meat brain. But I understand them in principle. Can play deals with the devil. Or sorry, you get the uh, blood banks for free. What is this? Lock up. I, I mean, I knew in my heart of hearts we were gonna have to go to the big room. I don't know why I, I tried to trick myself into thinking maybe we wouldn't. And now I'm looking at the big room and I'm like, why were you scared of it in the first place? Look at it. You're destroying it. Now I gotta put myself in these shoes where I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, you know, I don't wanna anthropomorphize, is that the word? Uh, the game, the engine, the troll engine as it were, but it gave us a win where I thought that was the most merciful possible approach. So thank you for that game. Uh, but then, this game, we had good habits because we were ugh, coming off a run that was very nearly a loss. No thank you. So our dodges, especially early, were dynamite. We've regressed over the course of this run because we haven't had to be as good. So now, if they hit it, if they keep rocking us back and forth like a mechanical bull at a bar in a movie, we might get thrown off. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm sure mechanical bulls also exist at other bars. I'm just saying it's one of those things. It's like quicksand, as John Mulaney would say. You know, I've seen it in movies. Probably like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine movies. I've never seen a mechanical bull at a bar elsewhere. I missed all of my mechanical bull years. Between the ages of like 19 and 25, I could have gone into a cowboy bar and been like, let's ride that mechanical bull. That sounds like fun. Now, it's not that, I, and this is, I've never, 
I'm not of the opinion that I, I want to do these things. All these things are fun. But I'm too old to do them. I've just, I've passed the point where, like, you know, I'm, when I was 19, I would have been like, that seems fun. I'm lamenting the fact that now I'm like, ah, I missed the window where I would have found that fun. Now I would just be on it like, oh, this is bad for degenerative osteoporosis reasons. That being said, this Christmas market thing has got one of those super slides. You know, it's like a little, like a luge track that goes, whoa, whoa. It's got humps on it. You know I'm riding that. I don't care if they say it's for under 14s only. I'll wear a wig. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is a very easy one. See ya!